If you're looking to take your on-course nutrition to the next level, we've got some great tips for you. Hey folks, Andrew Chadwick here, Head Strength Coach at ETA. Today we're talking about on-course nutrition and hydration. Now the first thing I'm gonna talk about is hydration. Any athlete should be consuming at least half their body weight in ounces of water. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you should be consuming at least 100 ounces of water. So take your body weight divided by two, that's how much water you should be consuming a day. When an athlete starts to then compete in hot conditions, we're here in Texas, it can get very hot, we can sweat a lot, we're starting to lose body weight. So when we get off the golf course, a recommendation that you can do, a little bit of a side tip, get onto the scales, see how much weight you've lost. For every pound you've lost, you wanna be drinking around 20 ounces of water additional to what you've already should be consuming a day. Okay, so it's a good hydration tip for you there. When it comes to on-course nutrition, everybody will be a little bit different. But because we're playing 18 holes, we're walking maybe, we're carrying our bag, we're trying to produce as much force as we can effectively, we're burning a lot of calories, so we should be consuming consistently throughout the round. Now, some people won't like it because of the heat, some people will and be okay with it. We would recommend eating probably every four holes, so have something on the fourth, have something on eight, something on 12, and maybe even something on 16 to finish those final two holes with enough food in our system. What to be consuming? We would always be recommending something that isn't going to be spiking your blood sugar levels too high. We want to make sure that we're able to focus, we're able to perform effectively without those rises or peaks and troughs of blood sugar levels. That's going to affect our concentration, it's going to affect our performance as well. Simple things like beef jerky, really good snack to be having. Any type of jerky, jerky actually, so turkey, beef, can really be a good snack. It's gonna give us protein, it's gonna give us nutrition and kind of energy to be able to sustain a round. We also recommend having fruit that's got fiber in it because again, the fiber is gonna offset the sugar that's in the fruit. It's gonna keep us at stable blood sugar levels throughout a round of golf. I would also personally recommend maybe a nut and seed mix. Uh, you can have a little bit of dried fruit in those. Anything that's gonna be really kind of sustaining us but giving us the energy is gonna help. So again, kind of a plan for some people, they will like maybe six holes, so something on the sixth, something on the 12th. Some people will like maybe a five hole strategy, where maybe it's the fifth, the 10th, and then the 15th. I would always personally look at maybe a four hole strategy, so four, eight, 12, and then again, maybe 16. And that's really gonna help us have that sustained energy. Again, certain foods like Body armor, body armor in terms of a drink, Gatorade, they can really spike blood sugar levels. Maybe after a round, if we've really competed hard in some hot, hot conditions, we can have something like that after because it's not gonna affect that mental clarity in the round, but it's gonna help replenish us with maybe carbohydrates, but also obviously fluids as well. We wanna make sure that we're just really not trying to over stimulate blood sugar levels and then have that crash. So we want to make sure that we're just taking our time. Obviously, practicing this on a, a routine is going to be helpful. So anytime we're out there practicing, start to implement this routine and get the most out of it in practice, that in tournament play it becomes kind of habitual. That's kind of the, the basis of everything that we would want to look at with an athlete from hydration to nutrition. Obviously, when we get off the golf course, we want to make sure that we're eating good, healthy foods. So we're replenishing energy, so lean meats, carbohydrates are going to help and vegetables and then from there we'd probably taper off some of the carbohydrates and more protein just to really make sure that we're ready for that next day it's something that we have to practice because if we're not doing this we've seen it with our athletes and case studies where athletes mental clarity focus but also consistent energy is just falling down on kind of like a, a gradual decline over the course of a round. So really be starting to implement some of this stuff here and you're gonna get the most out of it when you're in a tournament play. Folks, I'm Andrew Chadwick, your certified strength coach here at ETA. I hope this hydration and nutrition stuff helps you. It's going to implement. If you implement it, it's going to help you in the long run. And we'll be back soon with any more videos on hydration and nutrition for you. Take care.